In this video, I will explain how to maximize utility using the Lagrange method. So let's jump right into an example. This says, suppose a consumer has the utility function u is equal to x to the 0.4 times y to the 0.6. Find the maximum utility given the price of good x is $2, the price of good y is $3, and the income m is $100. So one way to solve this is by using the Lagrange method. And the first step is we have to write something known as the Lagrangian, which I'll abbreviate as L. And this takes the following form. We say u plus lambda times, we have m, the income, minus the price of good x times the quantity of x minus the price of good y times the quantity of y. So let's go ahead and write the Lagrangian for this particular example. So we have u, the utility function, we're told that's equal to x to the 0.4 times y to the 0 0.6, and then we have plus lambda times m, we're told, is 100, minus the price of x, we're told, is 2, so we have 2 times x, minus the price of y is 3 times y. Now, if we want, we can distribute this lambda into the parentheses here, and here's what we get. So here is our Lagrangian. Now the next step is we need to take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x. So when we do that, we get Notice that here we have an x, so we'll have 0.4x, and we have to reduce this exponent by 1. So 0.4 minus 1 is negative 0.6. And then we're multiplying it by y to the 0.6, so we also have to include that in our derivative. And the only other term that includes x is this term right here. So the derivative of this would simply be negative 2 lambda. And what we're going to do is set this equal to 0 and solve for lambda. So to do that, let's move this minus 2 lambda to the other side. So we'll get, so to solve for lambda, notice that all we have to do is divide both sides by 2. So when we do that, we find that lambda is equal to 0 0.4 divided by 2, that's just 0 0.2. And then we'll have x to the negative 0 0.6 times y to the 0 0.6. And the next step is we're going to take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to y. So when we do that, we end up with... So for this y term, our derivative with respect to y will be 0.6 x to the 0.4 times y. Remember, we have to reduce this power by 1. So 0.6 minus 1, that would be negative 0.4. And the only other term that has a y would be this term right here. So the derivative of this term with respect to y is just going to be minus 3 lambda. And we're also going to set this equal to 0 and solve for lambda. So to do that, let's move this negative 3 lambda to this right-hand side, so here's what we get. And we'll notice that all we have to do to solve for lambda is to divide both sides by 3, and we'll find that lambda is equal to 0 0.6 divided by 3, that's just 0 0.2. So we have 0 0.2 x to the 0 0.4 times y to the negative 0 0.4. So notice what we've done here. We've solved for lambda two different times. So now what we can do is set these two equations equal to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and clear a little bit of space. All right, so here's the two values that we found for lambda. So let's go ahead and set these two values equal to each other. So when we do that, we'll notice that both expressions have a 0.2, so those will just cancel out. And if we want, we can rewrite it with the negative exponents in the denominator. So our left-hand side can be rewritten as y to the 0.6 divided by x to the positive 0.6. And this right-hand side can just be x to the 0.4 divided by y to the positive 0.4. Now we can simply cross multiply, so we get y to the 0.6 times y to the 0.4, that's just y to the 1, or just y, and then we have x to the 0.6 times x to the 0.4, so that's just x to the first power, or just x. So what we just found here is that the quantity that we consume of y will be equal to the quantity that we consume of x. And the very last step to actually figure out what these values are for x and y, we can take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda and substitute in these x and y values. So I'll go ahead and rewrite what the Lagrangian was. So here's our Lagrangian. If we take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda, we end up with 100 minus 2x minus 3y. And then we can set that equal to 0. Now what we're going to do is plug in this value right here. So y is equal to x. So instead of y, we're just going to plug in a value of x for y. So when we do that, we find 100 minus 2x minus, remember we're plugging in an x for y right here. So we have minus 3x is equal to 0. 
Now if we move all of our x's to one side, we'll get 100 is equal to 5x, and dividing both sides by 5, we find that x is equal to 100 divided by 5 is 20. So the quantity for x is equal to 20, and we already said that the quantity of x will be equal to the quantity of y, so y must also be 20. So let's go ahead and write that up here. So to maximize our utility, we will consume 20 units of good x and 20 units of good y. And if we want to find the utility value, all we have to do is plug in these values of x and y into this equation right here. So we would get u is equal to 20 to the 0.4 times 20 to the 0.6. And if we add these two exponents, we end up with 1. So that's 20 to the first power, which is just 20. So when we consume 20 units of good x and 20 units of good y, our utility turns out to have a value of 20, which is our maximum utility given our budget constraint.